Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope y'all feeling good this morning. I'm feeling okay. It's Tuesday. Let's wake up and do our positive affirmations. Tell God I love you. Look in the mirror and tell yourself I love you. And let's get this day started. All right, without delay, let's get right into it. Did y'all get up and make breakfast this morning? <clears throat> or will you let the corner store make your breakfast this morning? Get up and cook. Cook your man some breakfast. Cook yourself some breakfast. I get up and make breakfast every morning. And I make sure uh, I make Chris lunch every day. He goes um, to work. When he comes home, he has fresh lunch waiting for him. And all he has to do is eat and eat. And I get up early. So listen, this morning, this is what I did. Getting the day started. clock say it was like 5 34 in the morning i get up real early i go to bed real early so therefore i can wake up early refreshed and feeling good and made time and i cut my stove on every day so this was the result of what i made for his lunch today he's going to have him some good old fried wings some steamed california vegetables and some mashed potatoes and gravy so if you see Chris, ask him how was his lunch today, okay? <laughs> All right. So, you know, I just I just think I take the time to put the love into what he eats. And um, like I said, I get up and I make our breakfast and I put them in the um, carryout containers. And the people at work were asking him, hey, man, where'd you buy that breakfast from? He said, my wife made this. So if you see him with those uh, white carryout containers, he didn't get them from anybody's deli or corner store. It came from home, made by these blessed hands. And I cut my stove on and make time every day. So try it. Just get up and do it. Because who's feeding you and your children and your husband or your boyfriend or whoever, who's making their food? The people at the corner store? Because, you know, it ain't no restaurants here in Rivera Beach, really, where you can just go get breakfast. And if you choose to do that, that's okay. But sometimes cut your stove on, give them a hot breakfast, make it with love, not throw it together, drop it on the floor, unrinsed. Just take the time, get up a little bit early and cut the stove on. Make your house smell real good, smell like food. That's the best air freshener. And send them on his way. The other thing I want to talk about is the Palm Beach Marathon is coming up and I will be doing the 5K Sun Run. And this year I will do it in honor of my dad, James Hall. I will take his picture with me and I'm going to do the 5K. Last year I did the 5K in honor of Miss Rosie Johnson. That's my uh, neighbor's mom. She passed last year, I think the day before the sun run. And uh, I let her know that I would do the sun run in her name, Miss Rosie. And when I crossed the finish line, I shouted her name up to the heavens. So I'm going to be doing that for my dad this year. He will be with me. All right, so let me um, get into the news for today. And, oh, also, I said I was looking for sponsors. So if you want to sponsor, that's my cash app right there. Any amount that you desire from your heart to send to help sponsor me in the 5K Sun Run. And also, if you would like to sponsor the South Florida Gospel News radio show, which is this show, but we do have quite a few listeners and viewers over many platforms. Send me a little something to my cash app. I'll be glad to do it for you or any flyer that you have. I'm also going to include my email address. We'll be scrolling across the screen throughout this broadcast. So let's get into the news right quick. Now I'm ready since I made those announcements. All right. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is Brianna Taylor. I remember Brianna Taylor in Kentucky and she was at home in her bed and they came blasting and they murdered her. The police officers there murdered her. So this officer 
uh, is on trial. And so they brought the officer up on charges uh, saying that he violated Brianna's civil rights. And I say, guilty as charged. Lock him up, make him pay, whatever you have to do. So the jury is deliberating now. Uh, Brianna was murdered back in 2020, you know, during the pandemic. And I uh, remember George Floyd was also murdered. So right now he is on trial. And it says the jury began deliberations Monday afternoon, which was yesterday at the federal trial of a former Louisville police officer accused of violating Breonna Taylor's civil rights by opening fire on her apartment the night she was killed in a botched raid. Remember how they lied about what happened and how they was like, well, she was affiliated with a drug dealer and was receiving packages. All of that was a whole made up lie. So the jury received the case on a day when the former officer, Brett Hankinson, was grilled by a federal prosecutor over his actions at the time the 26-year-old black woman was killed. Brianna Taylor was shot to death uh, by police officers after they knocked down the door of her apartment on March 13, 2020. It's only been three years. And this case is important to me because, first of all, uh, they just flat out lied about everything. And remember the state attorney, that black man that lied and protected those police officers, knowing that they were telling a lie. He ran for reelection and lost. So thank you, Jesus. And hopefully the person that they elected is a lot better than him. He needs to be locked up as well. So jurors in the Breonna Taylor uh, civil federal uh, civil rights violations case do the right thing. find him guilty. That was me with my pretend gavel. Okay. All right. So moving right along, the other thing I wanted to talk about, which is really, really hot, heavy news, this Krishan Rock lady. Krishan Rock is a rapper. I cannot tell you one of her songs that she has rapped um, on, about, in, with anybody. I do know her from being on the news, Zeus, sorry, the Zeus Network, and being a violent young lady, always fighting, uh, getting into it with somebody. She um, hit her boyfriend in the head with a bottle and just a, like a wild alley cat. So Krishan Brock went to Tamar Braxton's uh, concert over the weekend and went on stage. And apparently she thought she was going to perform, but that didn't happen. And if you look at some of the video, which I didn't grab, um, you can see how she was trying to take the microphone from, from one of the background singers and, you know, how she was agitated and kind of pacing back and forth. Krishan, uh, Krishan Rock, oh Lord, I almost said Krishan Drunk, which would have been even appropriate for that. Uh, Krishan went backstage and was very upset. She went to Tamar's dressing room and I don't know who she confronted, but she ended up hitting the Patty Pie Man. I think he goes by James Wright Chanel. So y'all remember James on the left when he did that um, viral, super viral video about uh, taste testing the Patty Pie, the sweet potato pie from Walmart. And he was saying how good it was and how it just took off. And then everybody started doing the taste test of the patty pie. And then you couldn't find pies. And then Patty the Bell got on TV and said they ran out of sweet potatoes. They're trying to hurry up and grow some more. So that is James Wright. He is Tamar Braxton's backup singer. So Tamar has a tour. The 10th anniversary of the Love and War Tour. That was a song from 2013. That was a big hit for her and she had a tour back then called love and war so they're doing the 10th anniversary of that tour <clears throat> excuse me i've never heard of doing an anniversary for a tour you've already done but hey whatever works for her if you're not familiar with the song let me try to sing it 
I don't know the words, but you, you'll figure out what I'm talking about if you've listened to the radio in the past 10 years. We say after the world drops, we something like that. That's the best version I can give of that song. We'll look up Love and War with Tamar Braxton. It was a big hit for her. She did very well on that tour. And at the time, she was married to her manager slash producer, comma, husband, Vince. So they've since divorced. And I guess Tamar figured she needs some money. So she put together this Love and War tour. And uh, her fans are called Tay Martians. I think she still calls them Tay Martians. Anyway, James and Tamar Braxton are good friends. He's an excellent singer. He also did background for Patti LaBelle and some other people. So he is currently on tour. So anyway, Christian Rock got angry backstage because she didn't get a chance to perform. was like, I was on stage. I was ready. When was it going to be my turn? And so... And all of this is alleged, but we know to be true from my uh, sources, my PR sources who are actually in there doing the work. Say, hey, uh, old drunk Krishan Rock did what she does. Lie, lie, say it again. Say you didn't know I wasn't, I wasn't, um, no, she said lie and say I wasn't supposed to perform do her rap whatever her rap song is i don't even think she knows what it is anyway in her effort to hit somebody she ended up swinging on james james got busted in the face real good and his tooth was cracked they say it was blood everywhere and his face is all swollen and messed up so he did put out something you know Yesterday, he didn't show his face or anything like that. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen to Christian Brock as a result of this. Some people are calling for her arrest because she assaulted somebody. Some people think that it would be a good lesson for her to uh, get some handcuffs put on her and locked up so she can uh, get sober. Okay, so now since that happened, she got on social media yesterday saying, where's the video? It didn't happen. They're chasing clout. For those who don't know what that means, is they're trying to use her name to get popular and make money by making up this story that she punched somebody in the face and sent them to the hospital. Um, she blames everybody but herself, which is a lot of what, uh, you know, people do that. They deflect, Hey, it wasn't me. Well, where's the video is no video is no evidence. No, but you have eyewitnesses, even if there is no video. And, um, so Krishan said, I'm going to change my phone number and change my address. You could do that, but the police still going to find you, ma'am. You can do that. And by the way, this happened in Los Angeles, uh, which I believe Tamar has a home there. And Krishan Rock lives there. <clears throat> Krishan Rock is part of the Zeus network, which we know is known for violence. It's a uh, streaming network that you can get on the internet. And I don't know the owner's name, but I watched the Zeus network when they came out with Black China and Tokyo Tony. Black China, was she considered a rapper too? No, she started rapping later. She was a dancer who became very popular with a lot of followers, just like Krishan Rock had like 5 million followers or so. And Tokyo Tony, who's uh, known for being reckless with her words and actions, um, Tokyo Tony is Black China's mother. And the toxic episodes that were shown on the Zeus Network with them arguing back and forth and you know, just so disrespectful to each other to be mother and daughter. Um, and I guess that's what people live for these days. The violence, the fights, the disrespect and put downs. And it's okay to look any old kind of way, say any old kind of thing. Um, it's just not. So anyway, that was my last time watching the Zeus Network. So black, uh, not black China, Krishan Rock. 
is on a show called Baddies East or Baddies West or whatever it was. And then her and her boyfriend that she has tattooed all over her neck, Blueface, who is a rapper. He's had a successful rap career. Um, They had their own reality thing going. So toxic, fighting. He embarrasses her publicly. And um, any stress that she's under, she starts drinking. I don't know them personally. And I, I just know what I've seen and what others in the industry have told me. A toxic relationship. And it will be no surprise if one of them didn't survive the other. And I'm sorry to say that, but they are self-destructing. And I pray that they get the help that they need. So Krishan and Blueface had a baby, a baby boy. And... I've heard it said publicly before, and I agree, just because you have a baby does not make you a mother. And Krishan Brock needs all the help she can get. And, and to understand having a baby is, is not like having an extra purse. That's a whole human being that needs to be taken care of. And every action and decision that you make, it affects your child. And so Krishan Brock, you might be going to jail. And that might be the thing that helps you the most. If James decides to press charges, the event organizer said that he was going to press charges against her. In what way, I don't know. But um, the picture that I found with Krishan and Tamar, that's Tamar with her old nose. That new nose, that thing so pinched. She might need one of those sleep apnea machines to sleep at night. Who is narrow. But this is old nose Tamar. <laughs> All right. So um, James Wright, due to the fact that he didn't go public with his face bloody, he didn't say anything bad about Chris Sean Rock. He's like, I'm just an innocent bystander. He got walloped, co-walloped in his face by this drunk woman, drunk and violent woman. And... Uh, He's a singer. So how is he going to go to the next gig with stitches in his face? You know how painful that is? Stitches anywhere are painful. Swollen, bloody. So Krishan, get ready to get ready to pay. And in instances like this, this is why I say silence is golden. And like I said, all he said yesterday was God is, and you know, I'm not gonna let this ruin my faith and this and that. That was a great thing to say because that means the attorneys are working on it. And that the attorneys be now lawyers know when they have clients, they say when their clients talk, they walk. So James knows to keep his mouth shut about the whole case, whether they prosecute uh Christian Rock for assault remains to be seen. And, um, you know, James, I'm sure, has the right attorneys working on it to get his medical bills paid, his pain and suffering, because with these tours, he's expected to be there. And if he doesn't work, he does not eat. So, Krishan, your actions have cost you or will cost you a lot. And so this is where you need to grow up. And this is where your the circle that you have around you is important. They say she had a thousand people with her walking back and forth. They know she's reckless. She stays drunk all the time. And where's the mothers in that church that she goes to to help her out? And then sometimes people don't want help. But this lady needs help. She is, she is, uh, when a young Van Zandt was on the show and she called somebody a gutter snipe, she put that term on the wrong person. This lady right here, this lady right here. She is beyond reckless. She needs help. She needs mental help. And when you look at her parents, I'm like, no wonder she's like this. Because they're just as bad, if not worse. But she needs a queen mother to help guide her, first of all, with etiquette. Because Krishan Rock is a slob. And I base that on what I've seen. That's what she put out. Not nothing I'm guessing about. Can't cook, won't clean up, just disgusting. Choose with her mouth open, sit with her legs gapped all open. 
And this is what happens when you don't have the right type of guidance in your life. And then you hook up with a guy like Blueface who took her and so-called guided her and developed her even more into the reckless person that she is because she didn't even have nowhere to live. She had nowhere to turn. So based on the TV show where they met, he hooked up with her. Then she ended up moving in with him and they had this violent, toxic relationship. And it reminded me of Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. And everybody wanted to blame Whitney for what? I'm sorry. Everybody wanted to blame Bobby Brown. But it was really Whitney Houston. And just like when I started seeing Blueface, you know, on TMZ and on YouTube and uh, Zeus Network, when I did take a peek at it, I was like, golly, this guy is so reckless. He says anything to her. But then when I really started watching her or the interviews when they were together, I said, I see what the problem is. It's her. <laughs> it is her. She is, she is, oh stays drunk anything she doesn't want to deal with she drinks and fights and she really does need mental help she needs spiritual help and i pray that she gets it and and all of those people who are around her when the money's gone so will they be also and i just pray also for blue face they have a baby together that poor baby well, even when the baby was born she was so, oh my gosh, get this N word out of me. That's what she said. She was on Instagram live, pushing her baby out and told the nurses, get this N word out of me. That's what kind of person James Wright encountered over the weekend. So James, I hope you heal up and quickly. And, uh, you know, God bless you for your silence. You can get paid big time. I'm sure TMZ has contacted you to get paid. But God bless you. Let your lawyers do the talking. And when you're ready, I'm sure you will have something to say. But so far, Christian has said, I ain't do nothing. It wasn't me. They just doing this for club. Where's the video? And she sounds just like that when she talks. So God bless her. God, God has not and will not ever give up on her but she can't give up on herself so Christian rock i don't know if you will ever hear this video or your friends or whoever my prayer is for your healing and that you get better and that you become a better person because of this that is my prayer all right y'all it's time to go to work i gotta get out of here y'all get on up at that bed get dressed take a bath wash off whatever you do do something before you put those clothes on Get to work and have a good day. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, bye.